Yo, yo, yo. It's the Arthur in the building. Talking to you guys today about how good things will come to you while you're on semen retention. Why why will good things come to you while you're on semen retention? The reason why good things will come to you um, while we're semen retention, and if we're talking about good things, everyone has a, their preference of good things uh, when they when someone says good things. Good things may be an abundance of money, more opportunity, a new position, a higher salary, more clients for your business, uh, more customers, new kicks, uh, new authority, new leadership, something. Good things will come to you on semen retention. Now, why, 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 let's break down the psychology of why good things um, will come to you when you're on semen on semen retention, as opposed to somebody who's not on semen retention. the The reason why good things uh, might may come to you on semen retention is because of of high energy. What do you, well, now? What do you mean by this? You may ask. High energy. An example is like. Some, someone who has like a low position and I'm not taking any offense I'm not pointing fingers or anything like that but let's say for an example someone who has a low 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 position requires low energy let's say someone who uh, is a cashier at like McDonald's or something that position is required to have you're required to have low energy uh, you, like it's you're gonna have low energy. People with high authoritative uh, positions have to have high energy, or else they'll be looked, or they'll look be overlooked. And you can increase your energy once you're, you've increased your energy, and I mean your default mood, your attitude, the moment you wake up. That's why meditating is pretty important if you want good things to come to you. Um, good things will come to you. Uh, when you decide to have your high positive energy, po- positive attitude, and you hold that that positive mentality throughout your entire day, you smile at people when they when they look at you. You compliment people. You ask questions to get your foot in the door. You make people think that you're interested in them. And if you can do this and you can and if you can have stop the pessimistic attitude, the dull energy, the victim mentality, the most high is going to see your efforts and your 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 fruits will be realized eventually. Like this is basically the secret to like getting anything, having anything, having anyone, being anything in this three-dimensional reality. The secret is your attitude. And the other secret is your belief. And the third secret is your work ethic. This is it. Anything that you work for with full belief that it is yours will be given to you. This is this is no this is not mumbo jumbo. This is these are laws of the world. This is how God created the world. Any I'll say it again. Anything that you have, anything that you work for and you have full belief that will happen will be given to you you will get it so also um self sacrifice let's say like if you if you if you uh want if you keep thinking that you have to self sacrifice for your yourself or others you always have to check up on people <laughs> you always have to check on people and how they're doing which is can be good but it can also be very um bad in a sense if you're not doing it the right way if you're always trying to self-sacrifice check up on people uh ask them like make them maybe like criticize how they're doing or try to compare yourself to others this is not how you get what you want this is not how you become the your best best version so the best thing you can do is to focus on yourself unless someone is asking for their assistance 
for your assistance, they might look at you as, who are you to tell me what to do? This is how people react towards people. If they're not, if they're not in the, in the, if you're not trying to get uh, help. So the thing is, the best thing that I could say is to focus on yourself for real. Like that's one, one thing is to focus on yourself. One is to have belief in everything you're doing. And three is to have undeniable work ethic because faith without works is dead and works without faith is dead as well. You can't do something you can't do something um you can't be doing everything and then have bad uh have bad action there's this thing called inspired action inspired action this is different from having action that you know you have to do inspired action feels right inspired action seems like it's something that was planted in your mind by by the most high and he wants you to act on it to get what you want also, the most highlights consistency. No matter what you want, it's going to take some consistent effort. If it's a girl that you're trying to attract, if it's a business deal that you're trying to land, if it's a house you're trying to sell, persistence is the key. Persistence, persistence, persistence. Because if you show persistence, you show that you have faith. Because you wouldn't be persisting if you didn't have faith. A lot of guys like to give up the first time, the first um time it looks like everything is about to fail um and if you if you give up the first time of adversity you'll always be looked at as second tier not not good enough uh not a leader also if you if you're trying to attract like let's say good things like really really good things things that people are maybe even astonished by that happen to you you have to have like i said you have to have faith and you and another thing, you can't really cave in to temptation. And you have to use uh, your mind right. Righteousness equals right use of mind. The only way you can get anything into this in, in this world is by uh, first having the thought of it. The, uh, the starting point of all achievement is desire. And desire equals the thought of having. You're going to have to visualize what you want. You're going to have to think about what you want, not in a very um, sporadic way or a very, very um, like you're having a, a, a heart problem every time you think about it. You have to think about it in a relaxed way. You almost have to take your desire for granted as if it's already coming no matter what, no matter what, no matter what um, to think, to think, to think, to think um, health in the midst of if you see physical let, let's say disease and you're still thinking health even in this physical world where you all you see is disease plague and all of this violence and everything like this you're still thinking truth because in this perfect in in the in the divine realm there is no such thing as disease, disease or anything like that it's all perfect everything is perfect so the fear based fear based things ill everything that's off center not not divine not not let's say uh well is is an illusion it's is a three dimensional kind of illusion and you have to and you'll think if you think in a in a righteous in a right in the right in the right way everything will finally come back to how it should be but you can't you can't have that 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 attitude of all hope is lost because if you think whatever you think comes to life if you hold that if you hold that thought so make sure you're thinking you're thinking what you want to think you're doing the actions that you want to take and you have belief in every single thing that you're doing and high energy will equal your manifestation the reason why I say semen retention will help you get to this point in your life is because when you retain, you're carrying an aura of high energy, high energy, high vibration, uh, very, very grateful, very grateful, just happy to be alive. The fastest way to bring, let's say, money or anything into your life is to be grateful for the things that you have right now. And when you can do this, and you can and you do this without any apology without any 
deterring from what you want, the thing that you want the most will land on your lap. You can attract anything, anything, anything effortlessly into your life if you have belief and if you have the right mental attitude and the right action. Because the only things that you can really control in this life is your action and your attitude and everything else will be taken care of. So there's no reason for you to be pessimistic, be negative, think that disaster is the only thing and certain things can't happen. The, the funny thing is the most the people who think that certain things can't happen and who are always negative are the are probably the ones who are the laziest. The reason why you they, they don't have any belief in anything and they're always having a pessimistic conversations is because they're lazy. They don't do anything. They talk about how great life can be or they talk about how terrible life can be and they just sit on their butt and not do anything. And they like to soak in their misery. This is, this is the definition of 95% of people. But if you can be that top 5% to say, hey, I'm going to do something about my situation consistently and I am going to reap the rewards of my, my labor and the fruits of my labor, you can have power and you can be the dictator of your life instead of your life dictating you. So like, comment, and subscribe below. Tell me what you're trying to attract, what you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to become in this uh, while you're on retaining. So peace out.